Hello everybody, Princess the Bear here, and today we're taking a stop at Coronado for... Three Bridges. Uh, three Bridges. So this is the uh, new little restaurant slash bar right in the middle of the lake at Coronado, which smells like straight Home Depot right now. Fresh wood. Fresh wood. Um, we got a little bit of time. Uh, I actually thought Three Bridges was going to open with the rest of the new hotel stuff at Coronado, but apparently they opened early, so you don't need a reservation. It's just like a uh, geyser. Just go and enjoy yourself. 4.30 to midnight. We kind of needed it anyway, so uh, we're going to go check yeah. it out. So we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. So my friends, if you've been watching our videos, you know I don't like mushrooms. This is a full cap. I'm worried about this. So the mushroom doesn't make me want to puke, that's good. The meatball reminds me of the, like it was not shawarma, I don't remember what it was called, but it was an amazing dish that I got at the brunch at the top at California Grill. I'll put a link to that in the description box down below. But the meatballs taste exactly like that, which makes them my favorite meatballs in Disney World. So we're trying the meatball mushroomless with the sauce and the vegan parm. Mm. 
It's not an all meat, but it's so good. I could eat a plate of just these meatballs. They're amazing. Come here for this. Get the stuffed mushrooms because they're incredible. They look absolutely beautiful. And the sauce. Mmm. Juicy and succulent. They're a little hot. I just burn my lip. It's actually really good. It's like a little seasoned plant-based meatball sitting on top of a mushroom. Um, it's very tasty. It's got like an Italian flavor to it. I can't really taste the sauce, but it's good. Like I would eat a plate of those for an appetizer. No problem. I'll give those stuffed mushrooms three and a half out of five bars. I'm gonna grab some of the spiciness here. See what a pumpkin cracker with pumpkin seeds and spice tastes like on this. Oh. Mm. It's not chickpea based, it's lentil based. You can taste the difference in the spice. You get this awesome cake. I love this hummus. I will come back for this. I would eat here anytime I came to Coronado because this place is amazing. This is a great addition to um, this resort. I can't wait for all the new restaurants that are going to be opening, which we're going to be going to next month. Video is coming soon. Got the hummus dip, which had to make a couple alterations because the pita bread is cooked in butter and I topped with yogurt normally. So we had them remove that. Ooh. A little bit of this pumpkin cracker. Oh yeah. The pumpkin cracker is better with the hummus than the pita is. The hummus is a also three and a half out of five balls. So let's try this little spice in the middle. This lentil hummus here. Nice on the top burn. Tingles a bit. I think about three on my spice. <laughs> Ooh, never mind. Ooh, there it goes. Hot ones in my right there for a second. <laughs> Ooh, now that's good. Got a little spice high. Ooh. Then it just bumped the hummus up to a four. Four to five plus. Ooh. That got me, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that was like a Mori now. You're not the father. Ooh, God. Mm. Oh, okay, I'm awake now. Ready for more. I'll get lost in this. Shrimp corn, corn dog forest over here. We have two sauces. So this first one's going for the fries. Mmm. Not your typical Disney fry at all. That Greek season, crunchy. They remind me a lot of the Geyser Bar and Grill fries. We'll leave a link to that in the description. They're very crisp, tasty. Not as crisp, but close. That's from corn dogs. Sea roach corn dogs. Interesting shape. And this lemon aioli. crust on a corn dog, but it fits the shrimp perfectly. I'm very critical of my seafood, but I think they nailed it on this. This is four and a half out of five paws. It's not perfect, but it's almost there. They're a little bit more crisp, but the, the density of the batter on it is perfect. The shrimp, so when they only get really like any sort of ishy taste, I love this. I get this again. by far the best. The mayonnaise, four and a half out of five plus. Their sauce is like a three. It's a little bit more liquidy than uh, New Orleans from a lot, but it's still good. The fries from a lot is great, but not so much of the fries. Mm. Love 
Fresa Limonada. Basically strawberry lemonade spiked. same lemonade you can get anywhere in the parks. It's got like a little bit of a different flavor to it, but it's not as good as my sangria. I don't know if I would order this one again. It's syrupy. Maybe it's just a strawberry syrup. Like, it tastes very artificial. I love my lemonade. Like, that for a samurai style judging about my lemonade. Definitely strawberry. It completely takes away from the tart, from the lemonade. So it just feels juice boxy. Three out of five points. It's not bad. I can drink it and enjoy myself and have a good night on it, but I wouldn't I wouldn't come here just for that. But it's not horrible, it's making me sick or battery like that. I'm just horribly judgy about my lemonade. If I wanted to be mean, it'd be like a 1.5, but I'm not gonna do that. The sangria was so good, I had to do a double take. So, rosé sangria. It tastes like a fruit popsicle. Yes. It's, there's a slight like alcoholic aftertaste, but it still tastes like a fruit popsicle, so I am 100% on board with this one. Probably not as good as the white sangria. I would recommend the white sangria over this one, but it's still good. I'm always worried about sangria. It's like Kool-Aid of alcohol to me. I will say this one isn't as refreshing as the first, but still good. It doesn't have a little bit more bite at the end than the last sangria. I can taste it really fast. Two and a half out of five. Now this one, Perkham and Dubai server. Bourbon. I love bourbon. Another meme with the monkey sitting in like the hot tub and he's just like, I'm right there. Love it. I could sit by a pool and drink this all day. Now you've probably been talking to two of these, but it's good. This is a four and a half out of five plus. This is, um, might be their own smoked turkey. What? It's possible. It's on that level. So the bear decided to kill me by ordering a whiskey drink. Whiskey madness. This cute little paper straw. Something about this drink tastes like coconuts to me, and I don't like coconuts, so hard pass. Hard pass. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. No, sir. I don't like it. I don't like it. It tastes like freaking coconut. Why do you always have to get drinks that taste like coconut? Hello everyone, Princess Bear here, and we just got out of Three Bitches Bar and Grill. So, thoughts? I feel like it's the best place we've been to at Coronado yet. Until the new hotel opens. I agree, but it's kind of a low bar compared to what we've gone through thus far. This is true. But, this does perk my interest to everything else we're doing here. Because if this is just like the bar, I mean, this set the pretty high. And, and the plant-based options were pretty decent, I would have to say, even though they were just tapas. Uh, there was no main that you could get as a vegan, but it didn't matter because the tapas was enough. Yeah, it was more enough for like a light lunch. Um, mm -hmm. They had bigger options, but like the princess said, there was none of the like main courses were vegan. But everything was really tasty, really well prepared. The presentation was on point and everything. Even the chef was walking around, making sure everybody was good. I gave mad compliments to the chef. He was awesome. Lots of good drinks. Our server was amazing. The server was cool. Uh, the only thing that I would say coming here, and it's, it's not a problem, but be prepared to be a little bit warm because it is outside. Yes. So, I mean, they got fans. You, you're in the shade. It's not like to shade. geyser level where the roof is lower and you can actually feel the fans. Everything's a little bit higher, a little bit bigger. You feel like you're in some sort of Casa Bonita, but... You're gonna be warm. Yeah. So. But if, not hot, sweaty. 
So if you're uncomfortable being warm, you might want to wait till after dark. But you need to come and check this place out. Mind you, it was 107 today, and we didn't sweat hanging out at Three Bridges. But until next time. If you want to have us add something to the list, something you want to see, definitely let us know in the comments. All right, so we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.